Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. In today's uh, video, we are on Unit 4 of Medical Terminology. This week we will be studying the integumentary system. The integumentary system includes the skin, hair, nails, and sweat glands. The skin is the largest organ of the body. Get it? Organ? We said an organ is what? A group of tissues. Correct. Remember cells lead to group of tissues, group of tissues lead to organs. Well, this skin is an organ. The skin forms a protective covering for the body. The skin helps regulate the body's temperature, excretes some of the body's waste material, and includes the body's sensors for pain and sensation. Be careful in this chapter because the prefix by means to, but the word root by means life. Prefix, at the beginning of the word, it means the number two, but as a word root, it means life. This will start to happen more and more frequently as you learn more and more medical terms. Do not be concerned about which combining form to use for skin or nail because you'll see there's three or four of them. Because as you continue to study and use medical terms, you become familiar with common usage of each word part. Also, I may repeat prefixes and suffixes from previous chapters as they apply to the medical terms that apply to this chapter. So don't be surprised if I repeat one from a previous chapter. Okay, your prefixes for this chapter. Epi, E-P-I, on, upon, upon, over. Intra, within. Para, beside, beyond, around, abnormal. Per, means through, sub, under, below. We've seen that before. Trans means through, across, beyond. Your suffixes for this chapter or unit. Caucus is berry shaped. Cocci is berry shaped, but it's the plural form. Notice the US comes off and it becomes the I. That's the plural form for berry shaped. Ectomy means excision or surgical removal. IA diseased or abnormal state, condition of. Ism means process. I-U-M, structure. U-M, structure. Itis, and it, it, there's a space, word doesn't put I-T-I-S, it puts it is, but it should be I-T-I-S, itis, means inflammation. Malaysia means softening. Opsy, view of, viewing. Phasia, eating or swallowing, plasty, surgical repair, rhea, means flow or discharge, SIS, state of or condition, and tome, means an instrument used to cut. Again, these are your suffixes for unit four. You're combining forms this week. Auto, oops, move that back up here. Auto, self, Bio, life. Conio, dust. Cryo, cold. Crypto, hidden. Cutaneo, skin. Dermo, skin. Dermato, skin. Hetero, other. Hydro, sweat. Carado, horny tissue or hard. Luco, white. Lipo, fat or fatty. Myco, fungus, necro, death, onico, nail, pacio, thick, papilo, nipple-like. Oh, there are more. Pilo, hair, rytido, wrinkles, sclero, hardening, sebo, sebum, or oil, staphylo, grape-like clusters, strepto, twisted chains, Trico, hair, unguo, nail, zero, dry. Quite a few terms. Now your exercise, one on a piece of paper, write your prefixes for this unit and then write the definition for each. And do the same for your suffixes and your combining forms. Now we're gonna do a little something different here with exercise two. Based on the terms that you learned in this chapter, Go back now 
and define the following medical terms. Dermatitis, xeroderma, lyodermia, onychophagia, onychomalacia, biopsy, onychectomy, rhytidoplasty, dermatologist, dermatology, epidermal, erythroderma, hypodermic, leukoderma, percutaneous, subcutaneous, dermatoplasty, rhytidectomy, percutaneous, and necrosis. So again, with these 20 terms, based on the terms that you've learned in this chapter, remember these terms are built from your combining forms here for this chapter. These combining forms here. These words in exercise two are built from those terms. Define each one of those terms. And for exercise three, locate a medical dictionary or Google the following terms and write their definition. Number one, epidermis. Number two, keratin. Number three, melanin. Number four, dermis. Number five, sudoriferous gland. Six, sebaceous gland. Seven, candidiasis. Eight, carbuncle. Nine, cellulitis. Ten, contusion. Eleven, eczema. 12, fissure, 13, gangrene, 14, laceration, 15, pediculosis, 16, psoriasis, 17, rosacea, 18, tinea, 19, uticaria, 20, debridement, 21, cauterization, 22, cryosurgery, 23, dermabrasion, 24, excision, 25, incision, 26, incision and drainage, also known as an IND, 27, suturing, 28, diaphoresis, 29, cicatrix, and 30, keloid. So correct, you got 30 terms. I want you to go back and either find a medical dictionary which will come in handy for you because remember when you go take your certification exam you're allowed to bring a medical dictionary with you in to take your CPC exam or Google those terms you'd be amazed what I can find on Google put these terms in Google and it will give you the definition but all of these terms apply to the integumentary system okay your assignment this week is to prepare your flashcard or your index cards for the terms in this unit and we are growing I told you we're going to get bigger and bigger complete your exercises for this unit and go back and review your terms from the previous unit let's not forget our terms from the previous unit as we're learning more terms okay guys that's it I'll see you in the next one